Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. So a quick little demonstration here for you. I've just been working on some lapping today. So I've got this little puck of mild steel that I've lapped very finely, as you can see. So I've got a very flat, very shiny surface here. And I realized this would be a great way to demonstrate uh, the hydrodynamic bearing effect. So if I put it on my surface plate here, as you can see, it moves around basically about how you would expect steel on granite to move around. But if I give it a certain amount of velocity, just enough, all of a sudden we form a wedge of air in between the granite and the steel. And it is able to float around completely frictionlessly. All right, this is kind of hard to film because I don't have my tripod, but just a neat little demonstration of how hydrodynamic bearings function. If we, let it get, if we let it slow down, as you can see, it stops and we start rubbing again. So we need that critical velocity to maintain that air gap in between the parts. We a spin, squeezes the air out, and then it's almost like a suction effect, pulling it off the plate. yeah that's pretty much it um, just thought that was a pretty cool phenomenon thought I'd share thanks for watching